What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with some more Lucifer. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and come join me on Patreon for the full-length reaction. That link is in the description box. So, let's get into this one. The heck? Oh, she's gonna trip. Son of a biscuit! Jeez. Oh. No! I mean, I hope no one died, but... Oh. Who's that, Dad? What's going on with you? Well, there's a minuscule, albeit highly unlikely God, chance that your so car attractive. accident was a result of my father. You had nothing to do with it. You're about to be in another disastrous wreck. Living with Mays. You and Mays are like snow pants and elephants. Mays and I have become friends. Sort of. I think it's going to be fine. With a short <laughs> adjustment period. Mm. Yeah. What is that? Hi, Lucifer. Okay. Ah, um, toys in there. Go. Yes. Can you read this to me, Mommy? Uh, that's your bedtime story. I'll read that to you tonight. What's going on, kiddo? Randa says your job is really dangerous. The car accident was just that, an accident. I love you, Mom. Aw. You know they're adorable, Lucifer. Stop it. Hey, Ella. His name it's is... Wesley Cabot. Star of the Body Bags movies. It's just a bunch of people pretending to punch each other. Also ninjas and tons of nudity in the first three. Apparently it's Oh, my God. Con. Yeah, so no studios would hire him anymore. What's the cause of death? Dude was hit with a nunchuck statue. So you think the award came from the box? He's got all of Wesley's body bags, memorabilia, contracts. For the Insta? Nope, not cool. For the I know the killer must be. I will avenge you. Who found the body? A uh, kid. So excuse me. Hello, brother. Brother. Ah, I thought it was you. Well, welcome to Earth. Word of advice, I'd lose the trench coat. It's less cool brooding age, or more sort of pedophile sheep. One joke down, one to go. Laugh like no one's listening, dance like you're standing on the corpses of your enemies. And there's the other. I came to tell you that you have 24 hours. 24 hours or what? Either return here with mom, or I'll finish what I started with your detective. Oh, shit. Bring mom to me, or I'll take back what dad gave you. No! Uriel is here, and he's after Chloe. He's after Chloe or that classy bitch you call mom. You want to do with daddy. Time to pay Damn. up. Angels aren't allowed to kill humans. Chloe should be safe. Uriel can play with patterns. He makes a butterfly flap its wings, and a housewife gets chlamydia. Or Chloe gets into a seemingly accidental car wreck. Send your mom back to hell. <laughs> A solution which you will no doubt avoid. Worry not, my little sex thug, because Uriel won't be a problem. <laughs> we have a nuclear weapon. Sex thug. You? Well, Uriel doesn't know that we're working together on this. So you will go and convince him that he needs to go back. Or, you know, just punch him in his smug face. Dealer's choice. Good luck with that. Hmm. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Saved your life. Maybe. You never know. What are you talking about? Well, it appears that I was correct this morning. You are being targeted by cosmic forces. It's all being dealt with, and I'm here. What is with everyone in this car accident? I'm fine. No, I'm afraid that you're not. And so, for the next day or so, I'm going to need you to be unpredictable. Too bad. I was totally going to have sex with you today. Oh. <laughs> well played, detective. Uh... Until the threat has passed, just to be safe, I won't be leaving your side. Guys, where's the cab? It's dead. Oh, God, not you two. First in line. I mean, I even skipped out on some Are you guys going to become best friends? Remember? That was the you emergency. and Detective Dush? It was totally worth it. It was a great movie. Not no. on my watch. <laughs> do you have anything constructive to add? Yep, I, I do. I call him Professor Dush. I meant Detective Dush. The boy who uh, found the body. Remember the first three plate numbers of the getaway really car. remember what I said. Matches. Jamie Lee Adrian. What does she have to do with Wesley Cabin? She's his ex-wife. They met on the set of Body Bags 4. <laughs> Apparently, Jamie and Wesley's divorce proceedings were very contentious. Maybe she went to renegotiate. By renegotiate, I mean kill him. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> when was the last time you saw Mr. Cabot? A few weeks ago. Why she looks so familiar? Welcome to devil time. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying out <laughs> new Welcome to devil time? What the hell does that mean? She knows what it means. I have no idea what that means. I, I was at the dojo this morning. I went because of this. My life is destroyed. It all started with body bags for Is that Cordelia? She's still hot. But he was already dead, and I panicked, and then I ran. I would Damn, have never she, hurt Wesley. That has Even to be though her, right? we were divorced, I really cared about him. She's Where aged nicely. At 7 this morning? With Raphael, my Pilates instructor. And how does the weaponizer feel about all this? Her current husband. 
Oh. So you used to be married to an action star, only to divorce him and marry another action star? It was the 90s. We did a lot of coke. God only knows what Kimo would have done if he knew I went to see him. Are they saying Kimo or Kimo? Autographs. Where's my money? I have a, I I have a family member you. named Kimo. How does Body Bags 4 figure in all this? Our uh, victim uh, was the hero of the Body Bags franchise. Ooh, and in Body Bags 4, newcomer Kimo Van Zandt appeared. But and then the Kimo's character got spun up into his own more successful franchise, The Weaponizer. I love this, like, okay. brawling so out between Dush and Lucy. So I'm it seems that like Kimo has always had it out for Wesley. Stole his wife, stole his film franchise, so maybe he really did end it for him once and for all. But Kimo was in Reno. But that convention happens the last week in August. How do you know that? But my mom used to go over here. So Jamie's lying. Or Kimo's lying to her. Either way, I we just ate a salad and had to make sure I didn't have any in my teeth. <laughs> I understand. Oh, be careful. That pants need to be worn every day. Rough day. Listen, I was just wondering if your being here is just postponing the inevitable. You were gone for a really long time, Mom. So if I'm here on Earth for two more years, or two hours, I will take every moment that I can get. She's hot. Yeah, the tip said that we'd find chemo here. I guess we have to just sit tight. Where did that sandwich come from? What the hell? What part of opposite day don't you understand? Who is with you? Uh. Why are you suddenly so concerned with my well-being? Oh, my. chemo Van Sand. In the flesh. What, what the hell? <laughs> Weaponizer just tried to jump me. I love him. Why did you attack the guy in the parking lot? Must be someone really evil for the weaponizer to get involved. He's just some guy in trouble with the mob. He's got gambling debts. So you, you're now breaking legs for the mob. I'm broke. Oh, come now. Look at me. What is it your badass kicking self truly desires? Hmm? For my wife to be happy. That's why I've been willing to take any job. So she won't find out. What happened to you, man? Was killing Wesley Cabot another case of leg breaking gone awry or what? We were friends. Oh, could have fooled me. I'm not Ooh. proud of how it went down with Jamie, but we fell in love. And Wesley forgave me. We even kept our friendship secret from Jamie so it wouldn't be weird. Then where were you this morning at 7 a.m.? I was signing stuff at a small comic book store. I lied to Jamie because I don't want her to know how bad it's gotten. You should look at this. What is it? Your prints were on the murder weapon. It was probably the wife. The wife. Cordelia, she. I don't think he did it. Why? Because he's set a weaponizer. Up. He breaks legs for the mob. Yes, but he's not a killer. All he cares about is his well-preserved wife. Maybe we can get a jury to buy that. I don't. And personally, <laughs> I'm happy the judge set his bail at uh. half a million. I thought he was broke. Oh, I paid his bail. Even in this woeful, pathetic state, the weaponizer does not spend one minute in jail. Not on my watch. Ryan Goldberg, Kimo's business manager. I Why? want to thank you for making his bail. Uh, Kimo sure as hell couldn't pay it himself. For someone with so many hit movies under their belt, why is he so broke? He blew through his money, didn't listen, and now there's no more coming in. Got to invest. Well, it's always a tragedy when someone gets killed. Got to save it. No, I'm talking about his tiger. I would have bought it if I'd known. You never know when it's going to stop. Why isn't Dan checking the album? Dan. Look, unfortunately, Mom's going to have to go back to hell. Because I'm nothing you, needs to happen to, talk about. to Chloe. Punch, taunt, punch, groin, stump, repeat. Yeah, listen, there might be a better way to handle this without violence. What, like hugging him back to heaven? Like hiding mom. Just because he told us his plan doesn't mean that's his plan. It's Uriel. Look, you do know that he was always afraid of you. Don't mock me, Lucifer. I'm not, it's true. Well, we all looked up to you. You were like our very own action star. Even you. Well, don't get me wrong, you're a major power-hungry dick about it, but trust me, just the sight of you will send quivers down your real spine. All he needs to see is me in all of my glory. And there's that angelic ego I'm talking about. What's he gonna do? Uriel. Scared. It's good to see you, little brother. Come on, robe. You're a welcome sight for sore eyes. I am? Of course you are. But Yuri, you must go home. I really do have everything under control. Are you sure? Lucifer's still on Earth, now Mom's here too. It almost looks like you're in over your head. I'm here to help. You really think I need your help? You, pathetic small Uriel, oh. lost in the crowd of your betters. That is not If true. God wants something done, he sends me, Uri. Not you. I am Amenadiel the fury and the righteousness of our father. And you, little brother, are standing in my way. I'm sorry. Damn, I wouldn't fuck with a man of deal. I'll return home. 
I won't mess with this iron. Something's bothering me. I knew it. Fury of God doesn't usually talk so much. More a man of action. A men of deal at full strength, I could never beat this easily. Something's happened to you. I saw this guy. Yeah, you might get up and get hit, beat, beat his exactly ass, man of deal. Patterns are never that precise, but your pride the hell? is always going to be your undoing. After all, the bigger they right are, now, but... well, I think even you can guess what comes next. <laughs> I'm glad you came instead of Lucifer. And I've waited so long for this. Forgive me if I enjoy it. So did Kimo's alibi check out? He better be okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. According to the owner of the comic book store, Kimo was there all morning. Signing like you. Nice. Look, those dolls, they're selling like hotcakes. The owner said that ever since body bags started streaming on Netflix, you can't keep them in stock. And that relates to the murder house. At the scene, Wesley was going over all of his old body bags for stuff, mm -hmm. including his old contract. It says he's entitled to 1% of all merchandising revenue. So I had the studio send over a copy of their contract. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It says Wesley should be getting 10%. I also took a look at Kimo Van Sant's contract. Same thing happened to him. Ryan Goldberg. Ryan Goldberg. Wesley figured out Ryan's scam, confronted him, and then Ryan killed him to keep him quiet. Yeah, but how did he get Kimo's prints on the murder weapon so that he could frame him? That's why he doesn't have him. any money, because right, his business going? manager is stealing all his money. You've been attached uh, to me all day, and now that we may have figured out who killed Wesley, you're just leaving? Can't trust well, by now, the threat to you should have passed, but just in case, of some family business to attend to. You gotta right? do it yourself. You gotta learn about it, and you gotta handle it yourself, because people can't be trusted, especially when money's involved. Get a room already, right? Ugh. How, how's the, the case going? It's fine. Yeah, it looks like the money manager did it. Dan's kind of looking like a snack lately. Yeah. Interesting. Killed by your own weird award. It was actually, it was really, really touching when they got it. When they got it. There were two awards. What are you talking about? There were two awards because a fight takes two people. One of the awards was given to Wesley. And one to Kimo. Right. Jamie and the Adrian was at the dojo. Maybe she had access to Kimo's award. Maybe she's working with Ryan. Okay, you find Jamie. Uh... I'll get the business manager. His office said he's having lunch at the Ignacia Hotel. I cannot wait to hear how you sent urinal packing. <laughs> and please, do not skimp on any of the gory details. This would never have happened if you'd listened to me earlier. Hey, you, you How is this possible, pissed off Bella? Maze now. You don't piss off Maze. He's too hot. I no longer have my powers. What, what happened to them? Oh, I don't know, Lucy. Pick a sin. It's time that I face the truth, brother. I've fallen. Welcome to the club. Meetings are on Tuesday. It's different for me, Lucy. I no longer have my powers. It's probably the best thing that ever happened to you. But right now, I haven't got time to hold your hand because I need to clear up your mess. Uriel's still out there, and the clock is up, which means the detective is in grave danger. Well, he tried, Lucifer. Don't be mean. No one's wondering why he has those sleeves on. Are you serious? Oh, shit. What is wrong with you? Body. I am your mother. Sort of. Did you make one of them your pet? I figured out the husband. Then it was the job. Now it's the children. This is supposed to be a timeout to teach you a lesson. Mommy, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh... Maybe you're not so bad after all. We need to talk. Damn, kissing out in the public and shit? You're having your affair out in public? Detective Decker, you make out with all your clients? What's the occasion? You celebrating the successful theft of Wesley and Kimo's merchandising money? What is she talking about, Ryan? What I'm talking about is how Wesley realized his action figures were selling like hotcakes. Did some investigating and saw that he was getting robbed. Unfortunately for Wesley, he shared his concerns about his business manager with his ex-wife, who happened to be sleeping with him. And that voicemail that you played for us. That's what started this, and that's what got him killed. He's the one who killed Wesley. What? It was her idea to switch out the nunchuck award, cover it in blood. Go to! Like, what? You stole from me. Kimo? I care about both of you. They murdered Wesley. And they will pay for that, I promise you. You better not but shoot Chloe. Don't let in your life, too, Kimo. Kimo, please. I'll shoot you. I don't care anymore. Kimo! Stop it. Detective, you don't know what you're up against. This was engineered to put you in harm's way. You must believe me. I know exactly what I'm up against. Kimo, a couple days ago, I was in a really bad car accident. The truth is, I'm terrified. Aww. I'm scared of how it can all just end with no rhyme or reason. And what I want to do right now is just go home and read a bedtime story to my daughter. That's not up to me either. She's going to make so me cry. Make the right choice, Kimo. Please put down the gun. 
Well done, detective. Chemo was about to do a very bad thing. <sighs> well, not on my watch. <laughs> you know, I don't believe in fate, and I don't believe in bad luck. And I appreciate your concern, but come what may, I'm leaving here, alone. But just buckle up, detective, please. Are you taking mom back? Oh you gonna take mom back? Or maybe Maze talked her into going herself. Lucifer. I'm letting Uriel take me back to hell. Let her go. It's the right move. She goes back to hell. Chloe is safe. And I don't have to clean up your mess anymore. You get to keep your word. I am keeping my word. You're serving out your sentence here on Earth. That's not what your father wanted. Everyone thinks they know what he wants. Human wars have been waged because of it. Nobody bloody knows because a selfish bastard won't just tell us! Uriel is a stubborn boy. When he sets his mind, he doesn't waver. He's not going to give up until he has either me or that detective. There is always another way. You be better not hurt Chloe. For a brief moment, the pattern faltered. I thought it meant you'd actually bring Mom. Somehow you'd surprise me, because for once in my life, I'd like to be surprised, but no. Are you done hiding behind our big brother's skirt? Yes, it's just me now. Big bad Lucifer. We've already had this fight before, Lucifer. You see, in my head, I've seen everything you do. Right, let me guess. In your version, I deliver mum to you, apologizing, tears streaming down my face. In my version, you refuse to give mom up, and your human friend dies. Yes, you've tried that twice now. Not much luck. Maybe I'm building up to a big finale. You don't know what dad wants. None of us do. But I do know what he needs. Mom's out. It's only a matter of time before she finds her way back to heaven, and then he'll forgive her. He'll let his guard down, and then she'll destroy him. I need to make sure that doesn't happen. You better put that thing away. That's Azrael's blade. How do you have it? I borrowed it off the angel of death when she wasn't looking. That weapon will wipe her out of existence entirely. No heaven, no hell, just, just gone. You've gone completely insane, brother. Well, see, you I don't care about your deal do with that dad. To your I mom. don't care about what happens to your little human, but it's obvious you care for her a tad more than you do mom. All I need to do is hit this one little key. A sequence will begin in two days from now. Your cute little human will finally die. No. You can either let that happen, or you can give me mom. Very well. Well, you didn't see that coming, did you? Fuck him up, Lucy. Fuck him up. I did see it coming. I knew you were going to attack. I just wasn't sure how. <laughs> Bam! Patterns are tricky like that. It takes time to get a real sense of them. I needed to study you a bit. It took much less time than I expected. Ouch. You're lucky I'd never use Azriel's blade on you, brother. Why don't you pick on a girl? But I have no qualms about using it on a filthy, scum-sucking demon. She is so damn fine. You haven't disappointed, Masaki. Your patterns were tough to see. Ooh. But still predictable nonetheless. <sighs> because you made it so difficult, now I'm gonna take out Mom and the detective. No, you ain't. You can't stop me, brother. I didn't see that coming. <sighs> Damn. Bye-bye. What did he say? I couldn't understand. Frick got what he deserved. He was my brother. And he wanted to kill Chloe and your mom. So? Telling the world that the summer was almost done. Coraline discovered the door a little while after we moved into the house. Read it again. Where's you? <gasps> what have I done? Will we make <sighs> oh, shit. The old life is over. He is such a good frickin' actor. It is so crazy. I love this show. God, he gonna be mad. His dad's gonna be mad that you killed his son now. We gonna see what's gonna happen with that. I don't think that's gonna be very good for Lucy, but we shall see. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come join me on Patreon for the full length reaction, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.